gonna go over how I planned Tiago's first birthday party. I want to go over how I planned out from decoration, games, and food. So the first thing I wanted to do was to have a backdrop and a stand. And luckily, I my sister-in-law had one. So I had a backdrop, it was greenery, it was kind of plants. And, and I bought a, a balloon garland and it was green. It would be in the shape of a, a caterpillar. His birthday party theme was the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And in front of that stand was the dessert table. So that dessert table, I put his cake and a cake topper that my sister-in-law made. I made a box, uh, three boxes with the number, with the, um, with one written on it. And on the backdrop on the greenery part, I cut out letters to spell out his name, Tiago, and I glued them on green, paper plates and on the red paper plate I made uh, the hunger caterpillar face and I put that up and it is a Tiago and it looked like a, a caterpillar so that was cute and so uh, along where we had the party I we had a railing to where you go to the deck where we had the party and I made some caterpillars from the same paper plates that I had Tiago's name on I use the extra plates and I put pictures on them and it was pictures from since he, he was a newborn and a few months old up to now and and with the and the it'll be pictures and then the caterpillar face and it'll be more pictures and another caterpillar face and then that would lead up to a small table where I had a little note saying please write a note, a future note to Tiago. And I plan on doing that maybe when he's 18 or 16, still need to figure it out, but I kept those notes uh, for him. I'm gonna put it in his journal. If you like this idea and you want to, the guest to write notes, make sure that you kind of give gentle reminders like, because I noticed a few people didn't write um, on it, but it was just family members and I'm sure I can get a note from them later. So we had that and some pictures all, all around where we had the party. If you don't know what to do with decoration, if your theme is kind of hard to make or you don't have a theme, pictures go a long way. You can put pictures everywhere. People love to look at them. And usually for a first birthday party, it's great because you wanna see how much they grow and they've grown. But if it's other birthday parties, other ages, it's perfect as well. People will love to look at pictures. And for centerpieces, for for each table, because it was a very hungry caterpillar, I wanted to incorporate the book. So I made each table of fruit. So on Monday he ate an apple, and on Tuesday two pears, on on third on Wednesday three plums. So at each table had that fruit, and I got mason jars, I stuffed it with some green stuffers uh, from the Dollar Tree and I put a picture of him and I cut out um, the saying of the book that I just found on the internet and I printed it out and that was super cheap and it's super cute, people loved it. Some people took it home because they wanted to keep, it was great. I also made his high chair banner. I just printed out the letters to spell out the word one and I used the extra strings that I had left over at home. I forgot to take pictures of them, but I also made his newborn through 12 month banner. I printed pictures of him and the number at the bottom. I put little caterpillars to match with the theme. So now for games, I I wanted to share some games with you guys because maybe you are not doing a, maybe you're not having a, a big event like a jump house or something. We decided not to get a jump house for Tiago because um, this party was more for family and a few friends and we knew not all the family would come because of 
it's still COVID and we, we kind of just wanted to um, keep it on a low budget. So we just had simple games, but everybody had fun. My mother-in-law also had a little play structure with the slide and the swing where we had the party, which worked out great for the kids. Um, but we also had cornhole that my sister-in-law had and she brought and checkers that we just put on the turf and it's a, a kind of like a blanket and you have the checkers and then it was a great game. The teenagers loved it. I also made a little um, reading corner. I just brought a blanket that would be nice for as a picnic and I put it on the turf and I put a little cute basket with a few books on it and also with a, th a few books from The Hunger Caterpillar. And Tiago went and was reading a few books. My nieces were reading to him, it was really cute. And it matched with the theme as well. The game that I really liked that I came up with was Who Knows Tiago's Best? So it's whoever the birthday um, boy or girl is, I just wrote, it's a who knows them best. And for his first birthday party, I wanted to do what was his first uh, word, what was his first something or his favorite. So it was Tiago's favorites and first. And I did that and the answers were showed up, shown up on the slideshow. And we also had a piñata, uh, which I made myself as well. And that was, um, that took a while, but that was, it was really worth it. I really enjoyed made, making it. If you guys would like to see how I make it, uh, how I made it, let me know in the comments. And Okay, so lastly, food. Um, up to now, decoration and games, I was the one in charge of most of it. Um, I had help from my sister-in-law, but my husband was the one in charge. Uh, in charge of food. So we had a barbecue, rice, bean salad, and we also had some nacho cheese being warmed up and some chips to make nachos. Uh, my brother-in-law barbecued for us, that was nice. And I also made some Brazilian treats. So in here in the US and having my son, I want him to grow up with a little bit of the Brazilian culture. And a typical Brazilian food is to have docinhos and salgadinhos, which are savory and sweet foods, um, usually made of with chicken inside or cheese inside, and then other ones are um, chocolate or coconut, which I made brigadeiros e beijinhos and coxinha e bolinha de queijo. And it was a hit, everybody loved it, it was new, they weren't They've never, some of them never seen it because it was Brazilian was new, some knew about it. So it was great. And I, I plan to continue doing that for every birthday party, hopefully. So yeah, hopefully you guys got a good plan for your birthday party. And let me know in the comments below if you need to have any questions and how I made anything. And I'm happy to answer and help you guys out if I need anything. And it's fun, enjoy. Ready? Dale, dale, dale. Dale, dale, dale. Dale, Ya le dice uno, ya le dice, ya le dice, te te si 